Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet the herringbone single crochet stitch. I think this crochet stitch also looks really nice when it falls vertically. If you prefer written instructions, there's a step-by-step -step photo tutorial in the blog post. I'll link that down below. I've also created a beanie using this stitch and you can find the free crochet pattern on my blog. I'm using super chunky yarn and a 12mm crochet hook, but you can use any yarn weight and hook you want. To begin, create a slip knot. For this stitch, chain the number of stitches you want plus one. I've made 11 chains, so I'll have 10 stitches. We're now going to work into the back bumps of your chain. Single crochet into the second chain from the hook. To single crochet, insert your hook into the back bump of the chain. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. For this stitch, the first stitch in every row or round will always be a single crochet. We're now going to work your first herringbone single crochet. Insert your hook into the left strand of the single crochet, and then insert your hook into the back bump of the next chain. Yarn over and pull up a loop. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. So you're going to repeat this until the end of the row. So make sure you always pick up the left strand of the stitch. Insert your crochet hook into the left strand. Insert your crochet hook into the next chain. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Repeat these steps until the end of the row. In total you should have 10 stitches. And don't forget that the first single crochet counts as a stitch. So you can see that the diagonal lines are starting to form along the stitch. This is the right side of your work. At the end of row 1, turn your work. To start row 2, chain 1, and chain 1 does not count as a stitch. For this stitch pattern, there is very clearly a right side and a wrong side. When the wrong side is facing you, we're going to insert the crochet hook from back to front. Single crochet into the first stitch, inserting the hook from back to front. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Right now the wrong side is facing you. Flip your work so the right side is facing you. And now we're going to herringbone single crochet. So as per usual, we're going to pick up the left strand of the stitch. We're going to insert the crochet hook into the next stitch from back to front. So I'll show you this with the crochet hook. So I'm inserting my crochet hook into the left strand of the single crochet. Then I'm inserting it from back to front into the next stitch. Yarning over and pulling up a loop. Make sure that none of your loops are too tight. This is what it looks like when the right side is facing you. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. And we're going to repeat this process until the last stitch of the row. So flip your work, insert your crochet hook into the left strand of yarn. Insert your crochet hook into the next stitch from behind. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Also, as I'm pulling up the loop, I'm rotating my crochet hook away from me. I find that this helps the yarn move smoothly through the stitch and it stops it from falling off the hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Repeat these steps until the end of the row. 
I know it seems quite fiddly, but once you get the hang of the stitch, you won't need to flip your work every time to find the left strand of yarn. You'll be able to find it with your crochet hook. At the end of row 2, turn your work. To start row 3, chain 1. Single crochet into the first stitch. The right side is now facing you, so herringbone single crochet as you did for row 1 in each stitch until the end of the row. Now that we've crocheted a few rows, you can start to see the herringbone pattern. At the end of row 3, turn your work. And this stitch is only a 2 row repeat, so repeat rows 2 and 3 until you reach your desired length. So I'm also going to show you how to increase the stitch. So as per usual, start the row with the single crochet. And then we're going to herringbone single crochet into the next stitch. So to increase the stitch, it's simple. Insert your hook into the left strand of yarn. And then instead of inserting your crochet hook into the next stitch, insert your crochet hook into the same stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through three. So there you can see we've increased that one stitch by two. And if you want the next stitch to have two herringbone single crochets as well, pick up the left strand of yarn, insert it into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three. And then insert your crochet hook into the left strand of yarn, insert it into the same stitch, Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through three. And the increases work the same way when the wrong side's facing you. So to increase, you work two stitches into the same stitch. So insert your crochet hook into the left strand of yarn. Insert your crochet hook from back to front into the same stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. And there you can see that two stitches are coming out of that one stitch. And that's how you herringbone single crochet.